the chemical and isotopic investigation of materials is an important key to many areas of research. These range from the evolution of the early solar system as derived from meteorites to on how our planet and its climate have changed over time and includes aspects of physics, biology and even archaeology. FIERS is an analytical research facility at the Geoscience Department of Goethe Universität, founded in 2019 as one of five high-tech centers. We operate equipment for trace element and isotope analysis in liquid and solid materials. We analyze rocks, minerals, glass, ceramics, metal, bones, teeth, artifacts, uh, biological materials such as cyanobacteria, proteins, water and more. By coupling a laser to uh, mass spectrometers, we analyze samples at the micrometer scale. And we analyze isotopic rates at the 0.1 per mil position or concentrations in materials at the PPB, that is parts per billion concentration level. And that allows us to investigate a range of processes in many materials. With additional equipment planned for in the very near future, we have even further options. For example, a cryocell laser system for the analysis of ice core samples could also be of interest to the analysis of frozen biological tissue samples. While FIERS is located at the Geozentrum, it is also supported by other faculties such as physics and biology. Members of FIERS include some 30 individual scientists, plus students and administrative and technical personnel. Our goal is to make our facility and our expertise available to a wide range of scientists. Not only within geosciences, physics and biology, but also other researchers at the Goethe Universität and external collaborators worldwide. And through collaboration with worldwide collaborators, we create a lot of synergies that often create the most exciting research opportunities altogether. Isotope geochemistry plays a really important role in helping us to understand climate change in the carbon cycle. And that's because the geochemistry of fossil materials is one of the main mechanisms that we have of reconstructing climate change in the geological past over thousands or even millions of years. We work to reconstruct parameters such as temperature, ocean pH and atmospheric CO2 over geological time using isotope geochemistry and we can even do this at seasonal resolution deep in the geological past. And this is really important information because we can use these results to compare to climate simulations and, and even to improve climate simulations, which is really important in the context of ongoing climate change. The Crystal and Materials Lab benefits from the collaboration in FIERS. Using the high precision of the isotope analysis in FIERS, we could accurately determine the enrichment level for a particular isotope in our crystals, which will enable us to understand the mechanism for the superconductivity in this compound. Teeth capture life histories of past organisms in great detail. And teeth also fossilize well, and they are often the only remnant of past life forms. And what's more, teeth also grow sequentially like tree rings, and they capture signals in great detail, in even daily resolution. So if you then apply a laser method, as we have in FIERS, to analyze profiles in enamel, then we capture signals from food, past food, past mobility at great detail in weekly resolution, for example, thanks to the isotope and element language that we have in FIERS. And what's the most exciting aspect to all of this is, of course, applicable to many um, organisms, from dinosaurs to mammoths and our own ancestors, including Neanderthals and Homo erectus. One key feature of FIERS is the development of new analytical methods. FIERS aims at becoming a truly interdisciplinary center of trace element and isotope analysis and this will benefit not only Frankfurt scientists but also all international collaborators. <laughs>